Amrita Sheridan's work is one amongst the nine national treasures. She is considered a pioneer along with Tagore and Jamini Roy for modern Indian art. In fact, she was the woman artist of the time. She, being Indo-Hungarian, melded her Western training with Indian aesthetics and created the language of art. Amrita, apart from painting, made just one or two sculptures. The work she made of two tigers nestling into each other is very unique. Tigers flowing gracefully, heads ferocious, but in a moment of stillness. And she's caught that moment. These are the end years of her life. She made this while she was stationed at the country estate in Saraya, Uttar Pradesh. Her husband, Victor Egan, used to go on shikars and she had occasion to look at them. Their graceful existence she reminded me of a work she had made in the same period titled Woman Lying on a Charpoy. She's both languorous and full of an expectation, very similar to the sculpture. She made the sculpture with Plaster of Paris, following her own emotions and her instincts. With such skill, they look very smooth, at ease, yet one can see their rippling muscles and one can feel from the expressions that they will burst into action. And she wanted to also show man, animal, sky in a whole symphony of creation. And this is what she brings out in this sculpture. <laughs> 